Hello everyone, this is Nitish and this is Plums Initiative that is Prelims Level Up MCQ series. Here we discuss 5 MCQs daily and this will help you in your UPSC preparation. Today is episode number 193 and I am dealing with economics MCQ. Before starting this class, I would like you to please subscribe the channel and also like and comment on videos. These contents are free of cost. So for test series and foundation video, you can contact to vice sir on WhatsApp 7200-681-675. So let's begin. Today's MCQ number one. In the context of microeconomics, Rahan curve establishes relation between which of the following? Statement number A. Economic growth and government spending as a percentage of GDP. B. Environmental degradation and stage of economic development. C. Cumulative portion of income to cumulative percent of population and last is a relationship between income inequality and per capita income. I will give you 10 seconds try to answer this question. So its correct answer will be option number A which means Rahan curve establishes a relationship between economic growth and government spending as a percentage of GDP. So here you can look at the curve that at the peak it is the optimal optimal level and it is showing the Rahan curve. The y axis is representing the economic performance and the x axis is representing the government spending percentage of GDP. Basically, Rahan curve suggests that there is an optimal level of government spend spending which maximizes the rate of economic growth. So that's why the option number A is the correct answer. Now move on to MCQ number two. Which of the following situation best represents the concept of liquidity trap? A. It is a situation in which forex reserve of country are depleted to the level of managing only 15 days of imports. Option B. It is a situation in which a central bank does not have enough liquid cash to meet its financial obligation on time. C. It is a financial situation in which rising interest rate lead to depletion of disposable cash in the hands of consumers and last option D it is a situation in which consumer and investors hold cash rather than spending or investing despite the interest rate being low. So I will give you 10 seconds try to answer this question. So its correct answer will be option number D. Now let's look at the explanation. Liquidity trap. Liquidity trap is an adverse economic situation in which consumers and investors hold cash rather than spending or investing even when the interest are low, thus making it difficult for the monetary policy maker to stimulate economic growth in the nation. That's why the statement number D is correct regarding liquidity trap. Move on to MCQ number three. Which one of the following is not correct? regarding the assumptions made in the law of demand. A. There is no changes in the taste and preference of consumer. Income of consumers remain constant. The consumer expects a change in the price of the product in future and considered it in the present. And the last is there is no changes in the price of substitute good. I will give you 10 seconds try to answer this question. So its correct answer will be C that is it is not an assumption regarding law of demand which is the consumer expects a change in the price of product in future and consider it in the present. Now let's look at the explanation regarding the law of demand. So what is law of demand? It is nothing but the other things remaining the same the quantity demanded of a commodity is inversely related to its price. This law will be applicable only if the below mentioned points which means the points which I have mentioned that is the five points are to be fulfilled. That is the price of substitute goods do not change. The price of complementary goods do not change. Income of the buyer remains same. There is no change in the taste and preference of the buyer and the last one no expectation regarding future change in price which is the statement number C that it considers the price of the product in future. That's why the statement number C is not regarded as the assumption made in the law of demand. So move on to MCQ number four, which of the following statement represents the concept of Weblen goods. A. 
goods whose demand drops when people's income rise goods whose consumption increases as the price increases goods whose demand drops when people's income decreases all are incorrect so i will give you 10 seconds try to answer this question so its correct answer will be option number b that is the goods whose consumption increases as a as the price increases so weblen good is a type of luxury good named after american economist thorstein weblen it shows a positive relationship between price and demand and thus an upward sloping demand curve the demand for a weblen good rise when its price increases so these are the examples like luxury cars wines handbags fine jewelry watches etc that is option number b last mcq of today's class it is a concept of microeconomics in which no individual or group can be made better off without making someone else worse off so you have to identify the option which best describes the ever microeconomic concept so the option number a pareto optimality concept of diminishing marginal utility taylor's rule and last one is paradox of thrift i will give you 10 seconds try to answer this question so its correct answer will be option number a that is pareto optimality now let's look at the explanation so pareto optimality or sorry pareto optimality or pareto efficiency is an economic state where resources cannot be reallocated to make one individual better off without making at least one individual worse off hypothetically if there were perfect competition and resources were used to maximum efficient capacity then everyone would be at the highest standard of living or at the highest pareto efficiency that's why the statement num uh, option number a is the correct option so that's all for today's class thank you next episode will be tomorrow so please subscribe and stay